This is catch and release. Sorry, no Rob this time. Uh, he hurt his back, and on top of that, he has company coming in, so he's a very busy bee, and a very in pain bee, whatever that means. Uh, so, yeah, just gonna be me this time. Uh, and, yeah, this is an episode that very much kind of a lot happens and little happens. Um, they find Paradox, rather Paradox kidnaps Steven uh, to get the transporter working. He can't fix it, so they come, they capture her, and Steven thinks that she has more to reveal, so uh, he releases her, and it turns out she's not very big. She's about the size of Steven. Um, would have been a little funnier if she, if Paradox was like, if the body was even bigger, I mean, I get it, she's about the size of the other gems, but it's like, if she was really big, that would have been a lot funnier. But, uh, yeah, the limbs and stuff, those are just artificial, it's not a part of her. Uh, so, uh, Steven releases her, she likes slapping him, obviously is not used to more human form and just having kind of a weak body and stuff, so, uh, she runs away into the bathroom, locks herself in there, is kind of very childish and the gems know that she has some information that they need and so they decide to just leave her in there and they don't know exactly what they're gonna do but they know they need to get information out of her um and it just sort of ends there it ends with steven forming a little bit of a relationship like he's being nicer to her and stuff but yeah there's not really much else on top of that it sort of ends right in the middle of this so it's pretty obvious you can't do an episode like this without it continuing into the next one uh so i'm kind of curious to see the next one it's it's hard to talk about because i haven't seen the next one and it's it, you know they're all kind of to be continues and continuing a story but this one was so right in the middle like it so didn't have an ending it just sort of stopped in the middle of this predicament uh so but for a predicament it's funny um and it's uh it's you know the word steven uses is you're so cute and it it is. It's a very cute setup for someone that's a supervillain and tried to kill them several times. Um, and Paradox kind of has a, uh, I don't know, she reminds, if Pearl was a villain, that's kind of what I get out of her. Um, and uh, she just gets funnier and funnier the more I see her. And is just, I think the fact that she is so tiny now, and the way she moves uh, before was great, because she had the artificial limbs and the fingers that could go everywhere, and I love how they would form arrows when she needed to point down, um, and all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, but now that she's this human form, she's moving kind of like a chameleon and climbing the walls and stuff, but still getting used to having a human form, so uh, uh, it's very, very funny, and, and adds a lot of character to her as well. And I like this setup. I like the idea that she's just gonna be stuck in this bathroom, which she keeps asking if everything's a weapon, um, and just doesn't understand the world that she's in. So, it, it's a good setup. I wanna see where it's gonna go. It's hard to comment on it, uh, because it is just obviously a setup. But, um, yeah, Peridot is becoming kind of one of my, my favorite characters here. Uh, she just, it, it's another one of those classic, nothing goes right for the villain characters you know it's kind of like being in the brain or dark helmet or even nostalgia critic in some of the anniversary specials so um i love those characters i love those villains that try to look very intimidating but just nothing quite falls into place uh so it, it's a good character it's a good setup i like that because in the opening you know she's trying to say something and the gems you know bubble her up and they say ha huh, well that's just the talk of a gem that's trying to get out of trouble or something and I was thinking to myself man I've seen this a lot you know and haven't they figured out kind of listening to Steven a lot of the stuff is usually right and usually the lesson of the episode and I like that they kind of come around they come around pretty quick but still reluctantly because <laughs> they have to just keep her in the bathroom um now she's stuck in the bathroom. But, yeah, it's just one of those things where I'm glad they come around at the end. I'm glad it's something where they say, okay, we let's do this. Let's listen to Steve, and it doesn't take a couple episodes to come around or anything. They do it rather quickly. Because uh, I think if they just agreed to it, it would be a little strange and out of character. And I think the way they have it does a lot more of a connection between her and Steven, which I think could be a very funny connection because he's just so humble and so nice and so welcoming and she's obviously trying to be this super villain and, you know, sometimes is very good at it, most of the times is not. Uh, 
so yeah, trying to think what else. Um, you know, the expressions on Peridot, I really love. And the expressions on all of them are always so good, but uh, yeah, the, the reactions from her and everything, they are just so extreme and the long faces and the eyes get big and then small and the same thing with the mouth and everything. So I love those uh, expressions on her so much. They're, they're, it just adds to the character a lot. And the only other thing I noticed on this one that I thought was kind of enjoyable was uh, something about Amethyst acting in this one, uh, the voice actress, like, it was especially funny. There is something <laughs> just really, really humorous about her delivery on it. Um, and, uh, I, I'm, has anyone anywhere made a gif yet of just Peridot going around and around in the toilet? Because I think that would be very, very funny. Um, if not, get on that internet. I'm sure you have already. You, you probably have, like, five different versions, upside down, side, whatever. But, uh yeah, I, I think that's about it. Uh, I, I thought it was a really fun episode. I'm, like I said, I'm anxious to find out what's going to happen in the next one because it's obviously it to be continued. Um, and I'm curious to see where this is going to go, but excited because I love Paradon. I want to see more with her. So we will see more with her later. Bye-bye.